You were supposed to let me know before moving forward with any treatment plan with the patient. What if they were allergic to penicillin? What would you do then? Uh, I... I'm sorry, doctor. I... Don't be sorry to me, nurse. Be sorry to the patient you might have killed. Who in the world is the one supervising you? Is this the standard you want to set for this hospital? It's all right, Penny. You can go take your break now. Th thank you. Joyce. Joyce! What, Noah? You seriously need to get it together. <laughs> I mean it. This is the fourth nurse you've ran off this week over tiny, minute details that you could easily figure out yourself if you had bothered to look at the patient's report. Oh, and I suppose a lawsuit against this hospital after a nurse kills someone because they decided to not talk to the patient's attending physician is a minute detail. This is a hospital, Noah, not an office building. If you mess up here, you could very well kill someone. You can hide behind the concerned doctor facade all you want with everyone else, Joyce, but don't try that with me. We both know that the reason you've been so on edge for the last three months isn't because you care about the patient's health. Excuse me? You heard me. You're a good doctor, Joyce. And you very obviously are concerned about every one of your patient's health. But don't pretend for one moment that you care for them enough to make the people around you as miserable as you have. So either get it together or take your vacation days until you're yourself again. If another nurse comes running up to me about how you've been treating them, I will report you to HR. Got it? <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Wait. And what is it now? Another lesson in propriety after you just got off your soapbox? I have another patient I don't care about that I have to see. Joyce. <laughs> what? You know I care about you, right? I thought that was a given, considering we're friends. Yeah. But seeing you like this, just, <sighs> please, get it together, for everyone's sake, especially your own. I know you're still hurting, but don't take it out on the people around you. This isn't you. <sighs> I have another patient I need to see. What in the... What are they doing here? <sighs> Hello. I'm Dr. Chen. I'll be your doctor during your stay here. What... <sighs> Can you please confirm your name and date of birth? <sighs> Thank you. What seems to be the problem? You hit your head. How? You were returning home after your exams and fell down the stairs? I see. And do you remember if you lost consciousness or not? You did. How did you get here? Another student who was in your class found you and brought you here. Okay, um, look straight at me, please. Any dizziness? Nausea? Vomiting? Slight dizziness? Okay. I'm going to order a CT scan for you to check for internal bleeding, but you most likely just have a slight concussion. It's good that you got here so fast. Yeah, you were really lucky. If you had been left there at the bottom of the stairs. I'll be right back. Did you fall down the stairs or did someone push you? Just answer the question. Did you fall down the stairs or did someone push you? Someone pushed you. Who? Who pushed you? I'll go order your scan now. Oh, 
calm down. They're safe now. They're safe now. Just calm down. Okay. 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 I need a favor. Hi. I just wanted to let you know that I've clocked out for the day, but if you need anything, anything at all, just let my friend Noah know, okay? Yeah, uh, also... The person who bothered you. You don't have to worry about them anymore. <laughs> no, Firecracker, I didn't kill them. I wanted to, believe me, but I didn't. I did, however, make it quite clear that if they ever came near you again, they would be dead. <laughs> I know. I know that we're no longer together, but that doesn't mean what... That doesn't mean that I... That doesn't mean that what I promised you no longer holds true. Have you forgotten? I told you when we first said our I love yous that you were the only person for me. You are still the only person for me. I know. I, I know I was the one who broke things off, but that was a mistake. I was wrong. And I'm so, so sorry that it took me so long for me to realize that. I know. I know the things I said to you were unforgivable. When you told me that you lied to me about who you were, about who you are. I was livid, to say the least, but you didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve that in the slightest because you could have gone the rest of your life keeping all of that to yourself and I would have never had the slightest clue. I would have been blissfully ignorant of the fact that my partner the love of my life was living a completely and entirely different life when they were away from me. I should not have seen that as betrayal, but rather than a fresh start. I shouldn't have called you all those awful names and, and made assumptions about you. That was wrong and petulant and cruel. <laughs> it's funny doctors swear to do no harm, but I've hurt you in every way imaginable, and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey, 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 shh, shh, shh. Shh, it's okay. You shouldn't be wasting your tears on someone like me. <laughs> I know, I know. Don't tell you what to do. It's all right, Firecracker. We won't have to tell anyone you cried tonight. Can't have anyone knowing that you actually have a soft spot for me. <laughs> I know a simple sorry isn't enough. It will never be enough, but I missed you so much. What do you mean I looked like I didn't care? You had no idea how terrified I was when I saw your name on that clipboard. I had no idea what to do and what to think, and when I found out that you were pushed down the stairs, which very well could have been a death sentence, my blood boiled. Firecracker, don't ever question how much I care about you. I may be a doctor, but... 
I take no issue with using the bodies of those who hurt you as cadavers for practice. And that goes for any unfortunate bastard that catches your fancy. Hmm. You think I'm joking, but I'm quite serious. Yes, I know. You need time. Well, wait. I'll wait for as long as you need me to. Because you were it for me, Firecracker. I've known from the moment I first met you, and I was foolish and childish for letting you go, but if you give me another chance, I promise, I will never make that same mistake again. I love you. Even though we haven't seen each other for these last few months, you were on my mind day in and day out. So take as long as you need. I'll wait.